So today we're going to be talking aviation anchor nuts. Now for those of you that work in the aviation trade, uh, I'm sure you've come across these and fitted quite a few of these in your time, especially if you're a uh, structures trade um, and you know how fiddly they can be when they're in tight spaces and stuff. So I learned a little trick quite early in my career which I thought was common knowledge but as I've worked a few more places and met a few people um, it surprised me that quite a few of them have never seen this before so I thought I'd make a video um, showing this little trick maybe some of you have seen it before maybe some of you haven't uh, let me know in the comments so anyway I'm not currently in an aviation environment I'm just at home in my shed um, so I don't have any aircraft flying around I can show you one uh, so I just got a bit of uh, alloy sheet off cut of alloy sheet I had um, and I've I've drilled and countersunk it ready for a aviation anchor nut here so ordinarily what you do is you get your your two rivets one two and then you put your anchor nut over and then you have to hold it all together while you're trying either to, to use a hammer and punch or a rivet gun or some rivet squeezes and it can be quite fiddly especially in a tight spot and you get it wrong you can end up with the count uh, the counter six of the rivet either tipped or a bit proud or um, yeah it can, it can be a bit fiddly so what I learned early on was just some mild steel this is uh, six mil or about a quarter inch mild steel um, just cut into a into a um, well this is a square but I mean you only need them to be slightly bigger than the anchor up itself and then all you do is you, uh, you put a bolt through now you can either use it it's actually been countersunk so if you want to sit this down flat you can countersink it I haven't got any countersink uh, bolts or screws here so I'm just using what I had like I said I'm not in an aviation environment here so you put a you put your bolt through and you put your your rivets in the countersinks put your anchor nut over hold it all in place and do your bolt or your screw up like that nip it up tight so then what this does as you can see is uh, you've got the, the plate on the bottom, the steel plate and it's pulling the anchor nut down nice and tight so that now is not going to go anywhere and the countersunk rivet heads are pulled in and pulled up hard against the plate um, so now riveting this is going to be like really easy um, so if you're in situ on an aircraft so imagine this is an aircraft and you've got a rivet gun like this old antique here you can put the the flat snap against the against the plate and then get somebody to put a block on the obviously on the tail <coughs> and gun that way or if you've got a pair of rivet squeezers excuse me this is an old antique set I made as an apprentice so they're, they're pretty old and rusty but you see if you've got some squeezers yeah you can you can squeeze them um, now I've got no ends for these squeezers and they're, they're, so they're pretty useless um, I've got no air for the gun so I'm going to do the old-fashioned method of uh, a hammer and a punch and a bench vice. So I'll just set that up now. So here we are with my uh, slightly agricultural bench vice, but it'll do the job in this instance. So, like I said, if you had this, if you had a countersunk screw or bolt in there, then you could actually use the anvil of the bench vice, sit it flat on there. But seeing as this is proud, I just crack the jaws slightly and. Uh, you can rest it on there like that. Um, so I just I just zoom this in now, and then uh, I'll I'll I'm going to just install the install with a hammer and a punch. I'll just zoom this in so you can see. Number one. Touch 
much more. Okay, so there we go. I'll just switch switch back over away from the vice. So yeah, there we are back on the bench. So yeah, anchor not fitted. So now you can unscrew the plate. And remove it. So there you, there you go. Anchor nuts down, anchor nuts flat, and with it heads nice and flush, not tipped. So I hope some of you might find this useful if you've not seen it before. Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Happy riveting!